When you come to a crossroad and run into the winner and the quitter in you, listen to the winner. The quitter will never take you down the road you want to travel. I believe we all have a winner in us. There is a winner inside of you. Sometimes we just have been around negativity for way too long. Develop the mindset of a winner. The truth is, most people give up on their dream. Most people give up on their dream to live the average lifestyle. But it really doesn't matter what most people do. What do you do? Because you are different. You will never give up on your dream. You will never not listen to the average. You will always listen to the winner in you. You will believe in yourself when no one else does. You will believe in yourself when you have no reason to believe. And you will never, ever quit. I know some of you are going through a rough time right now. Some of you are going through the fight of your life. Fighting for your future, fighting for your career, fighting for your family. Some of you are fighting for your life. And I'm telling you, don't quit. Do not give in. I know life can be tough. I know life can wear you down. But if you just stick it out, even if you don't get the result you will find, the character you show will be your reward. The fighting spirit you develop will be the reward. And it will serve you well for the rest of your life. Fight for what you want now or fight against what you don't want later. You choose. Don't you dare quit. Don't you dare settle. Don't you dare get back down. Not today or any other day. When the tough moments come, never forget you are in that moment writing your own legacy. In that tough moment, you are setting the standard for your character. Do you have the character? Well, do you? When you come up to a crossroad and run into the winner and the quitter in you, listen to the winner. When you make a commitment to yourself, you make sure you see it through. Never, ever quit. Even if you don't get the result, you will find the character you show will be your reward. Don't you dare quit. Don't you dare ever settle. And don't you dare ever back down. Fight for what you want or fight against what you don't want at a later time. And always know that God is right there with you. Just allow God to guide and direct you. And you will always be a winner. Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an author, an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and the host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today radio show. And you can also see a video version of this by going to YouTube and going to channel Take Your Life Back Today show. Helping others. It's a fundamental part of humanity. Bonding together and helping a fellow man or a woman. In times of tragedy, the stories of those who help others are inspiring, such as helping the nation recover from a national disasters and terrorist attacks. Some men and women even devote their lives to helping others, from the police force that protects our cities to the fire departments who run into burning buildings, to the service men and women who risk their lives for common good. Friends, no one has ever become poor by giving. No one has ever become poor by giving, but helping others isn't limited to these grand gestures or times of tribulations. Helping others can be done each and every day, and contrary to what you may have heard, helping others doesn't always have to be selfless act. It's important to understand that helping others can actually help yourself like I do each and every day by doing this show. No matter what the motivation, getting out and helping others is the key to helping yourself. So in that spirit uh, of motivation, here are five reasons why helping others actually do help yourself. Number one reason is it's, it's a quid pro quo, a favor for a favor. When you help someone, they will be more likely to help you. This is the basic unspoken agreement that fuels nearly every move. I'll spend my entire day lugging boxes, but you owe me, is what you might say. It's much easier to find help when someone knows that you do the same for them. They may not always live up to their end of the bargain, and you may not either. But if you help enough people and do many good deeds, it will be given back when needed. Quick pro quo. You might have even heard a lot about that in the news lately. Helping others goes both ways. 
Friends, all too often the idea of karma is described in a negative way, and it's. Um, uh, but if you do bad, bad will come to you. But it works the other way too. When you're a good person and help people, good things seem to happen for you. And while you may not believe in that interconnected universe that rewards good for good, uh, good deeds, there is something to be said about helping others that changes your perspective. When you're helping others, you will often feel better about yourself, increasing the likelihood that your next experience will be a positive one rather than a negative one. You see what I'm saying? Number three on my list is doing good feels good. It's maybe the most cited benefit of doing good. You'll feel great. Helping others is a great way to feel better about yourself. Seeing a smile or even tears of joy makes it all worth it. It is a simple fact and it's as simple as that. Number four, good publicity is the best publicity in life. People notice when you're doing a good, uh, good for other people. It may not be the reason you help out, but someone is always watching. Even the simplest gesture can make an awesome impression. Folks, uh, when I was in college, I had a class that helped out um, uh, a school for a full day. I worked with a small, small group of high school students who were incredi incredibly interested in writing, and I had a great time. I asked the teacher if I could come back on my own time and work with these uh, students to finish uh, this project that we were working on at the time, to, to, to which the teacher agreed. I went two more times uh, that week, thinking nothing more about it. Fast forward a few weeks, I received a letter in the mail stating that I had been chosen um, uh, as a, uh, a, a recipient for a possible uh, stipend of $2,000 to work with a group of students and professors on research project over the summer. I was floored as I hadn't even applied. Folks, the teacher nominated me because she appreciated the work I did with her students. Of course, I didn't get it because there was somebody else that got it. It wasn't expected, but helping others ended up opening a door I would never have known was even uh, able to open. Number five and last, helping others looks good on a resume or a application and the resume to God. <laughs> If your resume is looking a little thin these days, does your college application need a bit of pizzazz or maybe even your job application? Volunteering your time and energy to help others makes your resume and applications look as good as it makes you feel. Hiring managers look favorable on volunteer work and many acceptance committees use it to separate similar candidates. So read to some First graders, volunteer at a homeless shelter and volunteer at your local boys and girls club. Or you can do what I do, which is this show each and every day to help others. Your resume will thank you. God will thank you. But of course, you're not helping others just to make your resume look good. You're actually helping yourself to grow to be a better person. And as a Christian, we need to do that each and every day. Want to stop struggling in life? Call me at 844-405 help because together we can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves. Always be good to each other. And remember, a simple smile to a total stranger can help that stranger for the rest of the day. And it can help you in your life daily. Help others. Be good to others. will help you and always be good to you. May God bless each and every one of you. Hope to talk to you tomorrow. And remember, God truly loves you. Take good care. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.